Hi, I'm Steve with QA1, and today I'm going to be uh, explaining to you how a common call that we get is what am I adjusting when I'm adjusting my rear shocks for the drag strip? So we'll explain the theory of the ladder bar, the four link cars, um, and the separation that happens under acceleration. So we're using the rebound or the extension to actually hit the track with the tires. And um, a lot of guys will, will tune their compression low, looking for squat. We're not looking for squat. Um, we're looking for the tire to hit the track. We're gonna use our rebound uh, setting to do that. Whether a soft rebound hit the track hard and fast or to slow it down by stiffening up the rebound. On the flip side of things, once that tire does hit the track, um, that wheel is going to, that tire is going to wad up and it's gonna to wanna to bounce up like a basketball. We're gonna use our compression setting to, to resist that and actually hold the tire to the track. So we'll, uh, we'll do some testing here today with uh, Chuck Roycraft 73 Nova and uh, we'll show you what it's all about. So we're gonna talk about a couple different uh, types of QA1 shocks that you'll commonly find on the back of your car. Um, this is our single adjustable, single adjustment knob with 18 settings. This one will firm up or soften both the compression and rebound simultaneously. Um, very common on street cars. They're good for going to the track and you know, if you're just having fun beating up on your buddies. Um, there are some levels of adjustment, but with the rebound to hit the track with the tire and the compression to hold the tire down, on a competitive drag car, you're gonna wanna switch to our double adjustables. This here is our double adjustable shock. It's got independent control of the compression as well as the rebound. The rebound being what we use to hit the tire to the track quickly, hard. Um, that's how we will control that. We will slow it down if we need to, if we're shocking the tire. Um, and this is the compression knob, which will help hold the tire down to the track. The double adjustable is the only thing you're gonna want on a very competitive drag car or a very fast car. When you're having traction issues, this is gonna be the key to dialing that in. And the best tool that you can use to do that is your slow motion camera commonly found on your smartphone. Uh, film from the side, and that slow motion video will show you everything that car is doing. From there, that's how you'll know to make your adjustments. As you can see in this video, and you will hopefully see in your own slow motion videos, the initial movement of the wheel is downward into the track as the rear end separates. Using the rebound adjustment, we can control how hard and fast the tire hits the track. The instant center and spring rate will also dictate how much separation occurs, but knowing how to control the hit of the tire using your double adjustable shocks is crucial. The type of tire and track you're on will also play a role in how we tune separation. Drag radials and situations with a less than great track will typically benefit from a slower tire hit than a drag slick. A very fast and hard hit can shock both a drag radial and slick, so watch your videos carefully. Once you see the separation of the wheel and fender, the tires will resist being dug into the track, so we'll want to stiffen the compression to prevent the wheel and tire from coming back up away from the track and into the fender. The front end of the car plays a key role in transferring weight to the rear tires, and with the front end coming up, the vehicle rotation around the rear tire may appear that the car is squatting. The weight being transferred may slightly compress the rear springs, but we must tune for separation. If your slow motion videos show the wheel moving back up towards the fender after the hit of the tire, you need to increase the compression valving because if a wheel and tire are moving up into the fender, they are moving away from the track. If you're using a single adjustable shock for drag racing, the shock setting will be softening or firming both motions. So you'll need to find the setting soft enough to encourage the separation and the hit of the tire and firm enough of a compression to hold the tire down to the track. We've seen plenty of fast cars using the QA1 single adjustable shocks. You'll just have to find the setting that the car likes best. Also, be sure to start a logbook of your shock settings and the 60 foot times that occurred. This, along with your slow motion footage, will help dial in the car and give you a better idea of the settings you've tried for when the track conditions change. So now you've seen how we go through and, uh, and tune the shocks for the rear uh, with the important tools being the slow motion video camera, as well as a really good logbook, uh, which we do have on this car here. Um, if you have any questions or anything, give us a call at the tech line or visit our website at qa1.net. And thanks for watching.